Excuse me. Yes, Ryo? Do you know someone named Sun? Nobody by that name lives around here. Okay, thanks. Do you have a moment? I'm looking for someone named Sun. He knows I don't give free booze to bums, so he never comes by Sunset Hill. Good to know. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone named Sun. He's got a silver tongue and goes to the panda market every so often. Good to know. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. You're a first-timer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I know it's not much, but welcome to my restaurant. Thank you for having me. Xia Lian? Yes? Do you know someone named Sun? Are you looking for him too? He's got a lot of bills to pay, so tell him if you see him. That's not it. Oh? And I was so sure you were a debt collector. Um, not quite. Excuse me. Hiya. Do you know someone named Sun? He comes by every so often, but I don't know anything about him. He never buys anything, but he sure knows his liquor. Interesting. Thanks. Do you have a moment? I sure do. Do you know someone named Sun? Sun? Why him of all people? It's important that I find him. I occasionally see him, but not at my shop. He's too busy shopping for booze and sweets. I see. Hello there. Howdy, come on in. Excuse me, Granny? Um... Uh, Granny? Um... Ah, uh, she must be hard of hearing. Hey, Granny? Excuse me. Gorgeous. Oh, young man, you're making me blush. I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? What? You're not here to buy anything? I'm really sorry, but it's important that I find him. He hasn't been by today. Where can I find him? You can ask away, but I don't have a clue where he lives or what he's doing. 
Oh, but I do recall him saying that Fung was an old friend of his. Fung? Are you talking about Grandmaster Fung? He's the one you should be talking to. Got it. Thanks a lot. I'm a little busy. I want to play soccer with you. But you don't have a ball. No. I want to be a soccer player, but my sister won't buy me a ball. Oh, no? My sister, she's called Mei Mei. Works at a gift shop. Gift shop? Oh, you must mean the prize exchange. I really want a soccer ball. The Pale Toss place has one, too. Do they now? Uh-huh. If you throw the rock into the bucket, they give you a soccer ball. But I couldn't do it. Not even with my whole allowance. Can you get it for me? Of course. You really mean it? Yep. I promise. Pale Toss? Wanna try Pale Toss? A soccer ball. So that's the ball that boy wanted. Okay. Thanks! Aim carefully. It's the soccer ball that boy wanted. I should bring it to him. Oh, that wasn't bad. Want to keep your streak going? Yopo, did you find it? Did you get the soccer ball? Sure did. Here you go. tell you the secret place where you can fish. It's a secret pond I found. Nobody knows about it. You can walk to it from the place by my house with all the cows. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna be a soccer player, Ryobo. Keep practicing. I will! Is he not home? Yes, hello? It's Hazuki. Ario, oh, come in, lad. Grandmaster Fong, I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? Ah, Sun, I know him well. He's an old training partner of mine. Can you introduce me to him? Hmm. I believe Sun has taken up residence in the abandoned temple. The abandoned temple? I can't guarantee that you'll find him there, but... If you go, place some wine and steamed buns on the offertory box and hide until he appears. Got it. Thanks a lot. Don't forget the wine and buns!
Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I met with Grandmaster Feng. And? He lives in a really nice area. Yes. It barely changes. It's timeless. Were you able to talk with Feng? Yeah. I think I need to go to the abandoned temple. Why? Is there something there? Someone, actually. Grandmaster Feng says that's where Soon is. He also said Soon has seen the people from the photograph in person. The people in this photo are Imperial envoys sent from the capital. Exactly. If we figure out the link between the patterns on the bridge and the patterns on the mirrors, I think it will lead us straight to your father. I can only hope. I know. We'll find him, Shenhua. Where is the abandoned temple? The what? Oh yes, there is an old, desolate temple, I suppose. And that is? I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. I think it's in the middle of a forest or something. Somewhere people wouldn't normally go. All right. I'll see if I can find it. Okay. Delicious. Excuse me. Huh? You talking to me? Do you know where the abandoned temple is? It's just ahead. It's hard to see, but there's a path from the sunflower grove. Got it. Thanks a lot. Place the liquor and buns on the offertory box and hide. He's very wary. Um, 
I heard about you from Grandmaster Fung. Fung, eh? What do you want? There's something I'd like to ask you. You get one question. One. Got it? Hey, I need your help with something. Very well. I'll give you one question. Well, what do you want to know? Please, tell me about the completion of the Verdant Bridge. The Verdant Bridge? I must have been ten or so. They sent an Imperial envoy here to Bailu. We built the bridge to welcome the Imperial envoy. I remember waiting near the bridge with Ye and Su to catch the envoy's arrival. We had to shove our way to the front, but what I saw was etched into my memory. Why was the envoy sent to Bai Lu? That's the question, isn't it? For a Phantom River Stone Mirror. What does a mirror have to do with this? That envoy was on a mission to get a mirror made by the greatest stone mason in China. They came by decree of the Emperor. And who was the stone mason? His name was Yuan Liu Shan, and he stood above the rest. He lived in Bai Lu. He was Yuan's grandfather. I see. So that's the connection. Hey, I need your help with something. Very well. I'll give you one question. Well, what do you want to know? I hear you're a contemporary of Grandmaster Fung. Fung, you say? Do you know the name Iwao Hazuki? Hazuki. And you are? My name is Ryo Hazuki. Iwao was my father. <laughs> Shall we have a bout just to pass the time? Huh? What? You think I'm too old or something? No, not at all. Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quit daydreaming and hit me. <laughs> A fly uh, could block what you're throwing at me. Are you even trying? Uh, Your moves are too sloppy. You're full of openings. Where did you learn these weak techniques? Are you ready to get serious now? What was that move? It's Bodgy Tren's signature move, the body check. Oh. So, you knew my father. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can tell me about my father? Y 
Yes, when I'm good and ready. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Liu. Yeah? I talked to Yan Xing's mother. Shenhua! Guiying, what's wrong? The thugs have been spotted in the hermit's nest. I'm worried about Yang Xing. Liu and I will go have a look tomorrow. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey. What's wrong? Don't forget, I'm coming with you. I remember. Let's get moving. What's the hermit's nest like? It's certainly the most remote settlement in the village. Do you know the way to get there? Yeah. I went there once to look for Yanxing. That's right. I hope he's okay. I hope so too. We should go as soon as possible. Yeah, but we can't rush in unprepared either. One of the thugs really packs a punch. Wait, you've seen them? I had a run-in with them at Yan Xing's house. I fought two of them off, but I took my eye off the third. They got the better of me in the end. Well, even monkeys fall from trees. Mm. I won't be caught off guard again. have to get to the hermit's nest. Liu? Yeah? Shenhua? You're amazing. I am? Thank you so much. For what? 
for helping everyone in the village. Ah. Oh. Those thugs have to be dealt with. What other choice do we have? I guess so. They are the link to our fathers. And the mirrors we'd been looking for all this time. Yes. I'm doing this for me as well. should have stayed inside. What he said. Damn it. I'll go knock on the door, then while he's distracted. Who's there? Think that little trick would work on me?
We all... Uh, how long was I... You were out for two days. Uh, where did they go? They've made the hermit's nest their base while they look for the mirror. And Yen Xing? He's still holed up in the hermit's nest, but we've got to do something fast. Yeah, he needs our... Ryo, don't! We don't have time. You have to rest. Let's think this through. I suppose. Pardon me. Yes? I'm looking for a martial arts expert. The Hermit's Nest. Huh? You took on those ruffians in the Hermit's Nest, didn't you? I did. And you're looking for a way to beat them, yes? I, uh, yeah. Well, you won't find the answer here. Huh? Why not? Your desire to save the villagers is admirable. Nay, it is your duty. Then you have to. But you are not ready. How do you know? Your impatience clouds your judgment. That will get you in trouble. So what should I do? Training is the only answer. Clear your mind and train. Excuse me, Grandmaster Fong. Ah, Liu. I need a favor. What kind of favor? Yinxing needs our help. Ah, yes, the boy in the hermit's nest. And that means I need your help. Show me how to defeat those thugs. I cannot. Why not? Anything you picked up now would only be half-baked. But... Do you hear me? A half-baked skill is a double-edged blade. These things cannot be learned overnight. I don't care. You have to teach me. Be gone. Grandmaster. I have nothing left to say to you. Grandmaster! Damn. What do I do now? Wait. There's that move. I'll ask soon about it. Place the liquor and buns on the offertory box and hide. He's very wary. Pardon me, Mr. Soon. What is it now? I'd like you to teach me a technique. Oh, yeah? Specifically, 
the body check you showed me when we sparred the other day. Hmm. Body check is a signature move, one of the eight big openings in Baji Tren. And I can't just teach it to you for nothing. I'll do anything, please. Anything you say? Yes. So, you promise to follow my orders to a T with no back talk? Uh, yes. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Then find me some aged Lao Jiu, a seven liter jug. Aged? At least 50 years. What does that have to do with... Back talk already? No, I just... Now get going. Shoot! Uh, okay. I want something with a 50-year age statement. Don't you forget. Hmm. Get rich quick? Are herbs really worth that much? Guess I'll take it. This is... Guess I'll take it. This isn't it. It's just plain alcohol. Looks like Lao Zhou, but not 50 years old. year old Lao Zhou. Why is it so expensive? You find what you need? That item's not cheap. You sure that's what you want? Excuse me. I can tell you which colors and numbers will bring you great fortune. Lucky numbers and colors, huh? Yes, yes, precisely. Shall I divine your fortune? It's only ten yuan. Sure. A color fortune? Very well. Now then, let us begin. Color light. Color bright. Yes, I can feel the waves. Your color seeps into my mind. Your lucky color is... Yellow. Seek out this color and good fortune shall befall you. Thank you. I await your return. Wanna play? I've got a whole range of games. You'll play? Thanks. All right. Which will it be? Flower, bird, wind, or moon? This one. Here we go. Moon! 
Oh, brother. Excellent. Think you can keep it up? Moon! Oh, brother. Excellent. Think you can keep it up? Maybe some other time. Yeah, well, whatever. I've got to eat something. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Come on in. Want to trade tokens for prizes? With that amount, here's what you can choose from. This what you want? <laughs> You've got expensive taste. Come again soon. Oh, right. You can take the prizes down to the pawn shop. They'll take them off your hands. Win some valuable prizes, and you'll make a lot of money. Welcome. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it, and I'll give you a good deal, too. You can exchange complete sets of items as well. I'll give you this much for it. Thanks for your business. I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime.
I won't be worth anything if I don't eat. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want. What's that? What will you do with such an expensive item? This isn't something for someone as young as you. I know, but I absolutely need it. Well, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> 